Donna and Jack Redford harbored grand aspirations for their future, envisioning a thriving dairy empire that would sustain their family. They set their sights on building this dream on the land Jack had inherited from his grandfather, despite its neglected state. Their new farm came with a small, rundown home and some dilapidated outbuildings, requiring significant effort to make it livable. Undeterred, the couple worked tirelessly together, gradually transforming their humble abode into a cozy home while also tending to the land. With the purchase of one cow, they embarked on their milking business. Through careful breeding and trading, they expanded their herd, always ensuring the animals were treated with kindness and respect. This philosophy, they believed, not only improved the quality of their products but also aligned with Donna's unwavering compassion for all creatures. Initially, they struggled to produce enough milk for their household, requiring both of them to work tirelessly on the farm. However, their perseverance paid off when they eventually had surplus milk to sell at a local farmer's market. As their business flourished, they expanded into making cheese and other dairy products, pouring their care and love into every batch. Their dedication didn't go unnoticed. Soon, local businesses began placing orders for their high-quality dairy products, and the Redford Farm became a trusted supplier for restaurants and grocery stores in the area, a testament to their hard work and commitment to excellence. Despite their success, Donna and Jack were adamant about maintaining control over every aspect of their farm, avoiding excessive growth. Donna, for instance, continued her weekly ritual of venturing into the forest connected to their land to gather fresh herbs for their signature cheese. They personally oversaw the daily deliveries, ensuring each package was meticulously prepared and delivered to the right businesses. While this level of involvement might have seemed overwhelming, it was their passion project, and they were determined to create a remarkable legacy for their family. However, their sense of security was shaken when Jack discovered a cold storage box had been tampered with, with several bottles of milk missing. Further investigation revealed slashed bottles and spilled milk, indicating deliberate sabotage. Though they had extra stock to fulfill orders, the financial loss was significant. Interestingly, the perpetrator seemed to have avoided the more expensive cheese and yogurts on the shelves, leaving them untouched. Despite the setback, Donna and Jack remained resilient, determined to overcome this challenge and protect their farm's future. As the sun rose, the delivery people arrived, and despite the previous night's turmoil, all the orders were prepared and ready to go. While this was a relief, the mystery of the milk thief remained unsolved. Donna reassured Jack that it was likely just a harmless prank or a one-time incident, urging him not to dwell on it. Reluctantly, he agreed to let it go. However, the following morning brought a disheartening sight. Once again, the delivery shed was in disarray, with bottles of milk destroyed. Fueled by frustration and a determination to protect their hard-earned business, Jack resolved to stay awake the next night to catch the thief in the act. Donna, concerned for his safety, decided to stay by his side. They kept vigil throughout the night, but exhaustion began to take its toll on Donna, who started to doze off on Jack's shoulders. Suddenly, a movement jolted them awake. Emerging from the bushes was the culprit, but it was not what they expected. It was a magnificent lynx with striking markings. Typically elusive around humans, the lynx was accompanied by her adorable kittens, who were eager for the milk she had taken from the storage boxes. Before Jack could intervene, Donna stopped him, captivated by the sight of the lynx and her playful offspring. The mother lynx, sensing no threat, continued to care for her young, a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between human endeavors and the natural world. One day, as Donna and Jack observed the lynx family, it seemed the mother was silently pleading for milk, a gesture that tugged at Donna's heartstrings. Recognizing the lynx's struggle to feed her babies, Donna felt a deep empathy for the mother trying to provide for her young. Deciding to assist the Lynx family without compromising their business, Donna and Jack began leaving out bowls of milk each night, 
ensuring the family had a steady supply without wasting their products. Over time, the visits became less frequent, indicating the kittens were growing and needing less milk. Eventually, the visits ceased altogether, suggesting the lynx kittens had matured enough to be self-sufficient and the mother could provide for them on her own. While Donna and Jack were glad they could help, they were saddened by the absence of their wild friends. Occasionally, they would rise early to catch a glimpse of the mother lynx nurturing her young, familiarizing themselves with her distinctive markings. Months later, when Donna didn't return from her herb-gathering expedition as expected, Jack grew worried. Despite the cold, he set out to find her, eventually locating her abandoned four-wheeler near the foraging spot. Concerned, he called out for her, but there was no response. As Jack searched for Donna, the eerie silence heightened his worry. Suddenly, a noise from the bushes drew his attention, and to his astonishment, the mother lynx emerged before him. Locking eyes with Jack, she began to walk away, glancing back as if urging him to follow. Intrigued, Jack trailed the lynx through the dense brush until she stopped and sat in the grass. Approaching cautiously, Jack spotted a hole in the ground and inside lay Donna, unconscious. It appeared to be a poacher's trap, cleverly concealed and difficult to detect. As swiftly as she had appeared, the lynx departed, leaving Jack stunned by her mysterious assistance. Acting quickly, he rescued Donna from the trap and sought medical help. Donna was cold and injured, but her injuries were not life-threatening thanks to the lynx's timely intervention. Back on the farm, as Donna recovered, she and Jack reflected on the remarkable event. They were more convinced than ever that kindness towards animals had not only saved the lynx's life, but also brought them an unexpected and profound form of gratitude from the wild.